What do you say if I made a multiplayer game? Okay then. So since my friend likes horror games, I I'm gonna have to make him one. I thought it would be great because I've never actually made a horror game and when I did it was horrific and I instantly stopped the project and um, I wanted to spice things up so I wanted to add some multiplayer because what could go wrong helicopter helicopter so first I started scouring for multiplayer solutions, uh, there was the new Unity game gaming services which was free to everyone, however the documentation is so confusing and there's not many tutorials on how to use it, so I'ma just scrap that. By the way Unity, Lobby and Relay are actually really cool ideas so if you could make simpler documentation that would be great, thank you. So I was thinking of going with the Steam networking idea since I use that almost every day to develop no momentum. However, I'm not paying 75 quid to have my game on Steam again. And this is just going to be a one update and done type of game. So I went with the next best thing. I went with Mirror. Mirror is basically a better version of Unity's old UNET system, which just made multiplayer as simple as possible. And all you've got to do is set up a few UI buttons and we should be good to go. Unless there are bugs in the way. That, that's when it gets very chaotic. Right, welcome back to Commentary Evan. Today I'm going to be telling you what this background footage is. Basically, this was the first design of the basic system of the game. What I wanted to have done was um, this enemy would try and hunt you down using his magical powers and teleport powers, and then you would have to do the tasks and finish, finish the game. And what I hate is, I know many people are going to be annoyed that there's no like story behind it like every single game had to have a story like remember pong from the atari that never had a story why why do why does this have to have a story fine here's your story big man tries to kill you what's that you said you wanted to look at the jump scare code for the enemy fuck yeah as you can see there's the jump scare enumerator where it's basically like a sequence where something will happen, then it will wait a couple of seconds, then it will do the next thing. It, it is messy code, I could have optimised it a lot, but I was just trying to get this game out because I really wanted people to play it. But we gotta kick that aside right now, we're gonna learn the core mechanics, baby. The game is building as I speak into this microphone, so I'm going to give you the most basic rundown of the mechanics. Hunter tries to hunt you. He has three abilities, one where he blasts fire from his hand, doesn't really do much, it only kind of distracts you. Uh, his second ability launches you in the air, which you can see now. This is running off my laptop, by the way, so it's quite laggy, so sorry about that. Um, and he has a placebo ability, which does the exact same sound effect, the exact same effect, um, as the, uh, launch you in the air ability. However, it doesn't launch you, and therefore he's able to attack you much quicker. Then you've got the water pumps, you have to get the four working, and then flip the switch on the main building. Therefore, you will win. Um, I have added a special feature where if you start the server where you're not actually playing as one of the uh, main players, you're playing as the actual enemy, uh, and you can control him. You probably can imagine the amount of bugs I ran into. Bad stinky dob. This is actually another human model that's going to be used in No Momentum. 
but uh, I, I was just like, there's no way I'm making another human model just for this, because it's an old system, yeah, thinking about the details. What you want to do is you want to keep a close eye on him, because he could teleport anywhere, and I've lost him. I've lost him, he's there, he's there, he's there. Fill up the water, go to the next one before it drains again. Yeah, and also he has abilities, so he can launch you up in the air, and he can spit out fire from his hand. The spitting out fire from his hand that you'll see him do. Um. Oh my god. I just got jump scared by my own game. Um. Holy crap, that actually jump scared me. I. I, I didn't know. I didn't know jump scare me that easily. Last two pumps. Oh, he teleported. Okay, well, that will reset his counter. One's over there, one's here. Just gonna lead him away and. Just so that it would create that, like, thing of. Oh shit, this is gonna take a while. You gotta, like, be aware of everything around. Uh, that button, that switch shouldn't be green. Oh, don't tell me there's a game-breaking bug where I have to re fix it and then... There you go, you won. Oh, right. Right, so, yeah, um, I am stupid, yeah. So basically, that was the ending. You, you like, got pushed to the end and eventually it would catch up to you and jump scare you. So either way, you lose. But, um... Oh, God. Why? There we are. There's the gameplay. Hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, if you liked it, please consider going to the itch.io page. You can play with your friends. There's a dedicated server file. And you can even play as Stinky Dob just by adding like a little argument to the command line. Anyway, that's how you play. It's not meant to be that broken, but obviously at least play a little fair by filling up all the tanks. Otherwise, it's just not fair. Uh, but I'm not going into the source code now. It's, it's just too much effort. But anyway... Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.